are you all doing? What were you end up to in this video? Well, hopefully getting this thing finished and ready for MOT. So, let's get on with it. Okay then, this is the 15th of August and we've got our new seal. Let's get it fitted. Okay then, so we can put the sender back in. There we go, I've got to put the seal on first. seal on first. It's a bit big but it's just my measuring. Here we can put the sender in. seat on this thing so I can get it out the shed and put the tank on. where this piece goes. Just there. So let's stick it in. That should go under there. Hopefully it's going to go underneath. So screw that one back in. Screw the one back in in the bottom. Here we are. 
that's a bit neater, isn't it? Through there, that one. Through there. Push that through there. Make sure it clicks into place. It's not quite there. That's it. Okay, and we have this big red one. Ooh, they're a bit fiddly. And that one must just plug into there. So I've made my little tube. It's a lot fatter than that, but it'll still do the job. So basically all I'm trying to do is, see this is the clamp that clamps the petrol tank into position. But there's a slight gap. And if you just push a normal bolt through there, tighten it up. Just going to pinch all this onto the tank and I believe this tank is supposed to be on like an inch so you could lift it up like a car bonnet. So basically because of the uh, gap I'm just going to try and stop these two sides from crushing in. So if I stick that in there that side will press onto there but this side a bigger hole so the thicker bolt can fit through. See it fits through that side but it don't fit through that side because that's a smaller hole. So I've just got one of these. Now if I stick that in that side, push that down there bolt through. Then when I tighten it up it's just going to crush on this pipe so the tank will still swing. Stick that nut on there, get a 10mm ratchet and spanner. Pinch your up. There we go. Hopefully the tank will still swing. Oh yes. Perfect. Then we've just got the two bolts up the top here. Just plop those two in. Tighten up with the Allen key. Ok, 
Okay then, so we've got our rubber grommet in and it's spitting with rain. So let's get the side panel on, quick. Carefully does it, Johnny. Is that you, Johnny? Sod it, that'll do. It all looks all right, doesn't it? Wicked. So this is a different day, though we did have a heavy rainstorm on the uh, last video clip. So this is the 25th of August, and uh, as you can see we've got the bags on the back. That's a big one to put on the top. So all we've got to do now is put the original number plate on there, and uh, a little red reflector on the bottom, and fit the front panel fit the middle panel and fit the back panel and then that's it so let's do that some petrol for the landfill bike. <laughs> All upside down.
Uh, number, number two, please. 1762. There you go. There you go. That's all right. Thank you. Right then, let's fill this baby up with petrol. See if it works. <laughs> Key, choke, start. So is that the final piece of the puzzle? Final part of the plan? Cool, I guess we've all waited for this moment. Ever since the landfill project began. But no, we haven't come up all smelling of roses. There's one final fly in the ointment, which is in the form of the engine, developing a very disturbing, worryingly alarming, loud rattling noise. just like to take this opportunity in this part of the video to say thank you to Steve from the uh, Northerner channel. Thank you Steve. For the cup of coffee. Much appreciated mate. Cheers. Okay then so there we have it. The landfill bike is in one piece. But I'm pretty sure in the next video it'll be in another thousand pieces when I start to investigate the clutch. I've said it before, the guy who used to own this bike certainly got his money's worth out of it. So that'll do for this week. Hope you're not all as devastated as I am. Anyway, take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>